Welcome to the demo on writing a custom masking algorithm with this CK. I'm Andy Pan, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Delphix. I'm with John Lesser, Staff Engineer at Delphix. The modern organization manages data subject to strict data privacy laws. Delphix provides a platform solution to find sensitive data across enterprise systems, then transform the data into fictitious yet realistic data with predefined masking algorithms. Now, enterprise teams can write their own custom algorithms to suit their unique masking needs using a new SDK. With the SDK, teams will no longer need to engage with Delphix services to create new masking algorithms. Enterprises that adopt Delphix efficiently comply with security regulations and mitigate the risk of data breaches. John will show you how to use the SDK to write a custom masking algorithm, upload the plugin to Delphix, and then use it to mask a file in the short demo. All right, so uh, my name is John Lester, as uh, Andy said, and I'm going to walk through a quick demo of how to use the uh, masking algorithm SDK to create a brand new algorithm. So first, let me give you a little bit of the problem statement here. Um, I have a masking inventory on my masking engine um, right here, and I have a fairly simple inventory with just two fields, uh, the mass field being masked with currently the null SL algorithm. So over here, I have my test file. And I have the original data and then the mass data using this inventory where we could see the mass value has just been nulled out. And so for the demonstration, I want to create a brand new algorithm that's going to do something a little bit more interesting. And that's a pretty common use case. You know, there's a need to do masking that isn't quite supported by any of the built in algorithms because maybe you have a data or identifier in a very specific format. So over here in this terminal, I've downloaded the masking algorithm SDK and unpacked it. Uh, and that will give you a number of things, including some sample algorithms. But for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the SDK tools to um, create the, the plugin and upload it to my engine. So the first step is I'm going to go back to my home directory and I'm going to use the mask script to create a brand new project. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to create a new plugin project called demo project in my home directory. And the next step is I'm going to use the mask script again to create, oops, create a brand new uh, class. So this is going to be another algorithm class. And in this case, it's going to be called clobber and it's going to mask string values. Um, all right, so I'll run this. I need to actually hand through the demo project and do that again. All right. Okay, so, um, and what this has done is it's created uh, all of the build files and all in that class, the clobber class that I uh, am going to use for the demo. So let me go over to my IDE here and I will load this project and show what's happened. So I have source code and all of this, these directories and the build files were created by that init um, script. And in here, the clobber class that I created it now appears, right? So, um, and when you create the class, it has kind of an empty mask method. So right now it's just returning the input, which isn't useful. So I'm gonna come over, I'm back here and I've already got some code I'm just going to drop in. So it's kind of demonstrating you can just apply existing logic. So this code is basically going to take the input string, determine the first character, and then build a new string that just has a, all the first character equal to the length of the input string. Okay, um, so now that code's in place and in the project directory I can build the jar file and the jar file will, is, is basically the plugin that we can use and upload to the masking engine. So this will take one moment. So before we run this jar file in the masking engine, it's pretty useful to actually test it and make sure it works. So to do that, we have this another application that's part of the SDK, this mask app. And what this will do, I'll start up. I actually have the command in my history already. Oh, maybe I don't. Okay. So I do mass dash J to point it at the jar file. Oops. 
And what this is going to do is it's going to load the plugin that I just built, and it's going to give me a list of all the algorithms that I can choose from. And I'm going to choose the clobber algorithm we just built. And it has one instance that's been defined, and that's the default. Uh, and now, so I'll select that. Um, and so now I can put in any value I want to try, and it will actually give me the mass result. So if I test various values, we're going to always end up with the entire string being clobbered with the first, first uh, letter in the string. All right, so you know, presumably you would iterate on your code, get it working the way you wanted using the, the SDK tools before you know, going to the effort of testing it on a masking engine. All right, so now I'm gonna actually use the SDK to install this on my masking engine. Um, and that, once again, is gonna use this mask script I'm going to point it at the jar file. I'm going to point it at my masking engine, which user and what to call the plugin. And I have to enter the password for my engine. So it's going to use the masking, the API on the masking engine to upload this plugin. And it'll actually give me some results. I'm not going to go through here, but it's going to tell me what algorithms and algorithm frameworks are in that plugin. All right, so now if I reload my inventory, I can choose the algorithm that we just uploaded, this demo plugin clobber. And I will rerun my masking job. So this is an OTF job, so it's gonna overwrite the output file with the new mast file. Let's give it a moment to complete. Now that's successful. We can see that the new masking logic has been applied and every, every input has been overwritten by the first character. Yeah, so that's the entire demo. Thanks, John. As we have shown in the demo, you can use the algorithm SDK to create a new project, enter new masking logic to redact data, then upload the plugin to Delphix to run the masking job. We're able to run custom masking jobs quickly to protect your organization's sensitive data. Thanks for watching this demo. If you have any questions or feedback, please reach out to us.